So we're here. <laughs> Convocation 2013. A day we knew existed, but one we weren't really sure we'd make it to. From the very first day we walked into our agencies, to Hurricane Sandy, to that final assignment we handed in seven days ago, it's been a struggle. But Frederick Douglass once said, without struggle, there is no progress. And so we rejoice today, knowing that for the time being, the struggle is over. And a certain level of progress has been reached. In a few short moments, we'll hear our names called. We'll get to walk across the stage, wave at our families, taking the photos, shake the dean's hand, grab that piece of paper, which isn't quite our degree, <laughs> and call ourselves masters of social work. We earn that. As well prepared Silva has made us, thank you. We know that we're not really mastering social work. We know that true mastery of this profession is a lifelong journey, and we're just here celebrating the first step. As we continue out onto this journey, I'd like to offer a few pieces of advice to help us along the way. The first piece is to keep learning. We know this profession to be vast and ever-growing, and so our knowledge must reflect that. We must be well-trained in various theories, various modalities, various ways to solve a problem. Additionally, we must continue to learn about ourselves as we grow within this profession and within our lives. Just like we made the commitment to learn while we were here at Silver, let's make the commitment to learn more now that we're graduating. My second piece of advice is to be great. Understand that being good is not good enough. The situations we're faced with, the communities we're placed in, the clients we work with require greatness. Ask yourself, is there something else I could be doing to help my client? Is my program delivering this service the best way possible? Is my agency truly fulfilling its mission? Be great. Finally, I offer this, as great as you'll be, believe in something greater than yourself, social justice. The lack of social justice, the lack of social justice affects all of our clients, no matter who we work with or what we do. We cannot rest until every human being is treated fairly and equally, regardless of their race, their gender, their class, their age, their sexual orientation, their religious belief, their social economic status. When we're all treated equally and fairly, that's a socially just society. That's what we must believe in, what we must spend every day fighting for, and if need be, putting our lives on the line for. It's been an honor serving as your GSA president this year. Thank you for that. As I leave you now, my final duty, I'd like to say, continue learning, be great, Believe in and fight for social justice. Thank you.
Elizabeth Deesh. Kara Bucci. Alexandra Fernandez. Ashley Adamson. Sarah Arnold Rossetti. Andrea Mendez. Julie Taylor. Barbara Osan Abaktor. Amalia Horton. 